Welcome to the third International Bat Symposium. It's a pleasure to see here so many friends and colleagues to share uh, with us their experience in these two exciting days, uh, interactive lectures, live surgery. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. This is the third International VAT Symposium that I've been to and this uh, particular one, 2016, here in the Royal College of Physicians in London is absolutely fantastic. It's the only real one in the UK that we get to meet VAT surgeons from all over the world. I think it's grown into a sort of international event on our calendar in, our, in thoracic surgery. And I think what the course now stands for is that it's really one of the pinnacle meetings in advanced VATS uh, around the world. In one meeting we have all the known experts, the ones who are not only very good at performing the technique, but also very good teachers teaching the technique. We've got them all under one roof in a great setting, in a great environment with a very well planned program. I think it was very interesting also to meet the expert about this new technique and it was very nice. To have the possibility to talk uh, directly with the persons who are more expert in different kind of fields in bats. I'm Kristen Eklund, I'm the editor of thoracics.org, so I've been covering this conference since the first year. I think this conference really stands out because it's very authentic. We talk about real issues and real controversies in thoracic surgery. It's not just people talking to hear themselves talk. I think uh, especially technical tricks, uh, uh, things to be aware of, things not to do maybe also, so that's the main issue for me, so it's uh, totally on the spot for me. Refreshing of uh, techniques, a lot of uh, new techniques that I've seen, the robotic aspect of that lobectomy, congratulations to uh, all the organizers. And to see what others are doing, uh, what others, what other, other surgeons are are doing in their institutions. They can share with us their experience and we learn from each other. So I think it's very important. I learn, I'm learning every day. How have you found it this year? It's been fabulous as usual. So we've had loads of people to the stand. There's been some great lectures yesterday. Um, we've had so many inquiries about our technology, um, but not only that, now we are one Medtronic, we're talking about value-based healthcare, so yeah, we've been really busy, so it's been great as usual. So we have seen some lectures today which uh, uh, which are really very, very interesting. It is like Indian experience. Uh, these cases we don't see it here very often, but it is like a good experience and good uh, to hear and good to see. We actually got a good wet lab this year. Unprecedented new, uh, new, new uh, technology is going to be used for the first time. It's, it's actually quite lifelike, more than I thought it would be. It's got some nice stickiness to it, the way you think the actual tissue might. So I like it. It's going well. I think it's a very good model. For, for beginners, it's very interesting to feel the anatomy of the, of the lab. Uh, for experienced surgeons, I think, uh, uh, when, when you meet uh, peers uh, at this level, there is a, is a, a big opportunity to, to learn. The lectures have been brilliant, they're the absolute latest uh, techniques, uh, they're the latest, most enthusiastic people, and there's also a few thought-provoking ones that have been put on the programme by Marco. I think we need at some point to uh, understand how uniportal VATS and how VATS in general is the tool that we need for the future to face this competition with stereotactic body radiotherapy or uh, radiofrequency ablation. For me, was uh, to understand where us as thoracic surgeons need to go in the future, to, where, where we need to invest. There are many ways to skin the cat and that's the reality. And so you learn from different people, new techniques, new, uh, new ways to do the same thing. So I personally have learned a lot all day long. If this keeps on going, I'm really looking forward to next year's course. <laughs> it's a go-to place for all minimally invasive uh, surgeons in thoracic surgery.